All right, so John's doing a live right now. And I'm thinking what he's saying is you can, you can take the, the oil pan off and undo the cap and rotate in the bore and then put everything back together and that's how you turn, how you offset the wrist pin from one side to the other. All right, can't do that. Not on every engine. This is a Chevy 400 piston and rod. It is offset. You have more, you have more connecting rod here than you do here, okay? The bolt is not center. The bolt is offset, okay? This is the thrust side, okay? This is where the radius of the crank are. Yes. All right, so you have the radius on the crank. If you were to, if you were to spin it, and then bolt these back on, it'll lock the crank up. It's just like ASO's engine when he's working on it. You can see in his video where they were turned around. Now, whether he had the cap on backwards or whatever, I, I don't know. That's uh, for him to explain. Um, so this is a Chevy 400 stock piece. This is a Magnum 360, okay? 400 is bigger. Um, this is a stock Magnum 360 piston connecting rod assembly. The bolt is not offset. It is equal here, equal there. You could probably do it, but how are you going to grind the the radius in and I want to say the the bearings play a role in this um, I don't know because now I don't know I don't think you can do it I really don't because you still have you still have like a chamfer here and more of a, a straight cut here. You you gotta be careful. You can't just turn these in the bore. Here's a here's a 305. Here's a 305 Chevy. Same thing. See? You can't just turn this around. It'll wedge the crank. It, the engine won't turn over. Now, as far as offsetting the pin, yes, it changes timing. Yes, it changes piston out of the hole. 